Hello everybody, my name is Tom Emmerman and I'd like to show you how to set up a spatial audio designer in a Pro Tools session and how to root it. Okay, let's start with creating some audio tracks. Maybe with a mono track and uh, yeah, a stereo track. And also a stereo opera track. All right, first we want to insert a module we name Mix Module. You can find us here on the sound field, or if you did it in your preferences like that, you can find us here on the new audio technology. Now I name the module, because you can work with many modules at the same time. And I decide right now to work in 9.1, but this is not a final decision. You can decide to work in any other format any time. Because of having a better overview later, I will name it. And give him a color ID. So far, now I will insert a module we named Send Module in any track we want to use later in the Spatial Audio Designer mix. Here I allocate the Send Module of this audio track to the Mix Module we have, and I name it that I can find it in the list of the Mix Module. Working with different Mix Modules at the same time enables you to work in different formats at the same time. Okay, to keep the overview, I will give the Send tracks also a color ID. And we will insert a Mono Send Module and the mono track, also allocate it and name it. Well, let's give the mono track also a color ID because overview is one of the most important things to work fast and efficient. Now, a very important thing you have to take care about. The send modules has to be processed before the mix module. To provide that in Pro Tools, we route the output of the send module tracks to a bus and that bus to the input of the mix module track. Now we are sure that the send modules are processed before the mix module. And now, here in the list of the mix module, you can see the send modules. And with this small icon here, you can decide about the display status if you want to see the parameters, as well as the position points in the panel of the track channels. Now we route the output of our mix module track to any audio interface where we have connected a standard headphone. I use the output of my computer. Et voila! Now we can listen virtually to any speaker array we choose here. For that, of course, we have to enable the virtualization here. If the virtualization is disabled, you will hear a fall down or a down mix of your multi channel mix. Now let's set up a connection to a real speaker array. In Pro Tools, I insert two stereo tracks that I can use the buses later to manage the processing order. Then I take care about the overview, given a color ID. And now I insert a module we named Channel Out module in the format I like to have. Here I allocate it to our current mix module and name it. And here you can see per default ITU 5.1. Okay, and to be able to feed a 9.1 speaker array, I need a chord send module. This has also been allocated to our mix module and could have a name. But this default setup doesn't match, so we have to adjust it. I like to have here hide left, the second slot hide right, third slot should be hide left surround, and fourth one hide right surround. Now we have to manage the processing order as before, the channel out modules has to be processed after the mix module. For that, we route the output of the mix module track on another bus, and that bus to the input of the channel output module track the same with the second track. Now we save that the mix module is processed before the channel output modules. For different production environments, we can have the virtualization of a speaker array along working with real speakers. For that, we only have to route the output of the mix module track to any audio interface. So I insert another audio track. Take care again about the overview 
I name it uh, monitor and uh, give him a color ID. Now I have to route the output of the mix module track to the input of the monitor track. And finally, of course, the output of the monitor track to any audio interface. Here again, the output of my computer. And now I can listen to the virtualization of the selected speaker format through my monitor track. Independently of the speaker application, we are now able to work, for instance, in another room with the virtualization of it. And here, with the mouse over on the speaker icons, you get the information about available speakers. So if you have connected your speakers to the channel output module tracks, you're ready to do 3D.